Charity is the very soul of holiness. It governs, shapes, and perfects all the means of sanctification. Given that God Himself, who is perfect, is both our model and yardstick by which we measure ourselves, we are called to perfect holiness and perfect charity. It is therefore quite clear that all Christians in any state or walk of life are called to the fullness of Christian life and to the perfection of love. This is the first paragraph. Now let's go to the second paragraph. This is general. General Puya. Now what is particular for the start? Ito po ang sa atin. This is what the way of life of our forefathers, not the friars, means when it states that charity is our aim and is the goal of every Christian. The great precept of love is embodied as the beginning of the rule of our Holy Father, St. Augustine, in this way, when he gave us the introduction of the rule, and it states, Before all else, beloved brothers, let us love God and then our neighbor, because these are the principal commandments given to us. That is the introduction of the rule. Okay, so now let's go to the exposition and explanation. Why charity is the principle, no? ang ika nga e, eh, panulukong ba to ng ating samahan? Okay? When you talk about charity, it is based on the greatest commandment. Kaya na, when our father St. Augustine wrote the rule, the rule states that we are here because of one purpose, to love God and to love our neighbor. Yan po, no? This is Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 39. But when the Pharisees heard that they, he had cited the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law. And citing Matthew 22, 34, 39, he said, And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law, and the prophets. Ito ang saligan at batayan ang basis ng ating pamumuhay bilang Kristiyano. The emphasis of the rule. Hindi, don't, hindi sila sa, don't do this, you do this. Don't do that, do that. Wala. Wala sila sabi. Ito na. Because love moves us to do greater things. Yung ibig sabihin. When you are in love, hindi, hindi na kailangan ikaw diktahan. When you are in love, pusa kang gagalaw. Pusa yan. Hindi mo na kailangan sa pagsabihan ka. No? In other words, no? this love is intuitive. Intuitive po yan. No? Alam mo na gagawin mo kung in love ka sa Panginoong Diyos at i-extend mo ang pag-ibig na yan sa kapwa mo. To your neighbor. Kaya nga, the emphasis here is the word not just love, but is charity. Ang New Testament was written in Biblical Greek. Pag sinabi mong love in Greek, mayroong tatlong klaseng pag-ibig na tinutukong dyan. No? First is what we call eros. O, eros. Ibig sabihin, hindi erotic love, ha? Yung sinasabi ni Sigmund Freud sa psychology. In Greek, pag sinabi yung eros, yung gusto ko, ako masusunod, gusto kong maging doktor. You talk about ambition. Gusto kong maging abogado. Gusto ko eh. Eros, ako. O no? eros, na sinasabi, pag pakangailangan ng katawan. Gusto kong iminom. Bakit? I'm thirsty. Gusto kong kumain because I'm hungry. No? That is the first word in Greek, Eros, na inaatupag lamang, yung sarili. That is a self-seeking love. 
No, if you drink, if you're thirsty, uminom ka ng bilang pinaya, pinaya, uminom ka ng isang bote Coca-Cola, anong lagal mo sa bote? Tatapon mo na lang o kakalimutan mo was you're satisfied. That is not the love that the Lord is asking of us. Eros. The second is philia. No? Pagtitinginan. Inner circle. Inner circle. Ibig sabihin, yung kakilala mo lang, kabarkada mo lang, kamag-anak mo lang, ang iibigin mo. No? Kayo-kayo lang. No? Tayo-tayo lang ang pag-ibig. No? If you're not member of the barkada, if you're not member of the inner circle, if you're not member of, the, of your extended family, hindi ka papansin eh. No? Tayo-tayo lang. No? Tayo-tayo lang. No? And the third is called agape. Agape. No? Kung tayo-tayo lang ang filia, ang agape, tayong lahat. Yan. Yan. Ibig sabihin niya. Okay? Eros. Gusto ko. Number two, filia. Tayo, tayo, lang. At may ikatlo ay ang agape. Tayo, lahat. Kaya nga, when St. Jerome translated the Bible into Latin, Anong ginamit yung Latin word that is equivalent to agape? Latin caritas. In English, charity. Charity. Charity Caritas, agape, has three qualities. Kaya itong ginamit ni St. Matthew. Hindi eros, hindi filia, kundi agape. Because it is, anong qualities dito? Na kailangan makita sa atin. Remember, how do we define first charity? One recollect priest, the late Father Pastor Paloma, I asked him a question. Father, Give me a concrete definition of charity. And he told me, charity is love in action. Isang pag-ibig na kumikilos, not your theoretical love, not ideal love, pero isang pag-ibig na kumikilos. It is, a, it is love in action nakikita ng lahat sapagkat you embody the love of Christ sa buhay mo. Kaya nga, ano yung embodiment ng love in action ng caritas, agape, or charity? Number one, it is unconditional. It is unconditional love. The love that not seeks that, that, that does not seek any advantage, a love that hindi naghanap ng sukle, it is a love that gives unconditionally. You don't seek to be loved in return. Yan po, ang pag-ibig na hindi naghanap ng sukle. Number two, it is sacrificial. Sila muna bago ako. I will serve them before myself. In other words, you think of others before you think of yourself. No, you are thinking ang pangangailangan ng iba bago ang pangangailangan mo. So you are there to serve sacrificially. Aside your personal ambition, you have to set aside your personal preferences, you have to set aside your personal plans. It is the plan of the community ang masusunod. Sacrifice yan, no? Sacrifice.
sakripisyo. Iisipin mo ang iba bago ang sarili mo. That's sacrifice. And worse, nagsaserve ka nga, ikaw pa masama. Mm. So that's part of loving. To be misunderstood. That is part of the sacrifice that they have to carry on like the Lord Jesus. What happened to gumawa siya ng mabuti? He did something good to others. What did we do to Him in return? We crucified Him on the cross. The same thing. Kung anong ginawa sa Panginoon, pangyayari sa atin. It is sacrificial. But the question is, will you continue loving even though you're misunderstood? Will you continue loving even though you're hurt by others? Kaya sacrificial yan. And number three, it is universal love. All is included. Hindi lamang kabarkada mo, hindi ka mag-anak mo, hindi lamang ang, no, ang mga pamilya mo. Everyone you encounter along the way who is seeking your love, your help, it is universal love that encompasses limitations. It encompasses races. It breaks the barriers of classes. No? Meron kang sinasamahan, pero wala kang kinikilingan. Hindi ibig sabihin niya. Universal. Okay? So these are the three qualities of the love that Augustine is trying to teach us. Based on the Bible, agape kind of love. No? When you love God, this should be the three qualities that could be, should be seen. If you love your neighbor, these are the three qualities that, you, that should be seen in our love in action. Okay? Now, let's continue. let's continue. Why should we love? This is 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 8. Because that is the image of God. God is love. And we should be people who is the image of God's love to others. Sabi ni first in the, from the first letter of John chapter verse seven. Ano sinabi niya? Verse seven. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Very no? <clears throat> important. Okay. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. Whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Yan pong agape, agape ang ginagamit ni St. John dito, ha? agape. If you have that kind of agape, kind of love, ibig sabihin, nakilala mo na ang Diyos. If you have experienced that kind of agape love that is unconditional, sacrificial, universal, you have known God and you have been born out of that love from God. Kaya nga, anyone, verse 8, who does not love, does not know God because God is love. Warning yan. Kung wala kang ganyang pag-ibig, ibig sabihin, hindi mo pa nakikilala ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Kaya nga, ang Re Agustinian Recollect Community should experience that kind of love sa loob bago isya yan sa labas. Kaya ang emphasis po na sa atin, dito sa loob, and we will share that once we experience that kind of love, the love that is unconditional, sacrificial, and then among ourselves, that the time, once you experience it, we could share it with others. Kaya na community within, that is the small community, then i-extend mo sa communities sa labas kapitbahay mo, kaaway mo, chismosa sa buhay mo, intriger ng buhay mo, ipapakita mo yan. Because love is unconditional. Love is sacrificial. Love is universal. Because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us that God sent His only Son into the world so that we might live through Him. In this love, in this, and this is love, not that we, we have loved God, but He loved us and sent His only Son 
to be the propitiation for our sins. Dito, hindi dahil mahal natin ang Diyos. Sabi, ang nanguna, the person who loved us was God. God showed that love to us. God initiated that love by loving us, by sending His Son to pay for our sins. Sino ang isang magula? Makikita yung anak. Mamatay ka para sa kanya. Magagawa mo ba yun? Hindi mo magagawin yun. Ano kasi ka ulo? Hindi. Only God, the Father can do that by sending His Son because He loved us in spite of our sinfulness. Ika nga, agape means gusto mong tulungan, sagipin ang iyong kapatid sa kanyang kasalanan. Kaya nga, This is the fraternity, the, 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 the love among brothers and sisters na minamahal mo siya, iniibig mo siya kasi gusto mo siya iahon sa kanyang pagkamakasalanan to help him get out of his sinful situation and should begin within the community. Yan po ang ibig sabihin niya. And verse 11 and verse 12 sabi, Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and His love is perfected in us. Kaya na, if you want that love to be alive, it should be active. And what kind of love is that? Charity. For charity is love in action. Pakita mo, hindi mo sasabihin lamang. Ipadama mo, hindi mo iisipin lamang. Yan po ang charity na dapat natin isa buhay. Yan ang tatak Agustino Recoleto. Okay, question. Question. Yung mga trial, nag-o-observe pa lang, at yung mga nakapromise na, at mga sariwa, sariwa, bagong promise. O, anong klaseng pag-ibig pero pa kayo? Ano? Eros, ako lang. Filia, tayo-tayo lang. O agape, tayo lahat. Kaya na, if you love God, okay, let's proceed again to the text, ang important nito. John chapter uh, fourteen If you love me, obey my commandments. Eh, alam mo ang commandments natin, love God and love of neighbor. Yan ang naman eh. Yan ang patayan ng agape. If you love me, pakita mo, obey my commandments. Hindi yan sinasabi. Hindi yan iniisip. Ginagawa niya. If you love me, says the Lord. Sabi ni Jesus, If you love me, obey my commandments. The question is, no? God is the God of love. And that love that is agape, caritas, should be by, manifested by obey or by obedience. Because ang pag-ibig, tinuturoan tayong magpakumbaba at sumunod. Look at yung mga magka-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend. No? Magpagkasintahan. Sino mas makapangyarihan sa bahay? Yung girlfriend ng anak mo. <laughs> yung girlfriend ng anak mo. Pag nag-text like, yan, takbo ka agad sa kanilang meeting place. <laughs> so, anak, pag-inis ka ng bahay, hindi po tinatawag na po ako ng girlfriend ko, makikita ka sa time mo ma. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mas malakas ang hatak ng pag-ibig ng girlfriend kaysa hatak ng pag-ibig ng nananagutos, mag-ibig ka ng bahay. 
Because love attracts, love teaches us to obey. Kaya na, bakit, ang basis ng Panginoon ng pag-ibig natin sa Panginoon, obey my, if you love me, obey my commandments. Hindi ko anong gusto mo. Hindi ko ang iniisip mo. Obey my commandments. It's simple. Love of God, love of neighbor. Hmm. Kaya, nakakalungkot, very sad, when a Christian was say, God would understand me if I live this way. Jesus Mario was say, the way you live na makasalanan ka, God would understand you. Look at, obey my commandments. I, I will live this way. I, live, I will live with, with my number two because God wants me to be happy. I'm sure that you're happy. Living in sin. Is that the God who gave, up, who gave Moses the Ten Commandments? Or is it, it is your God of your convenience? God is not the God of convenience. God is the God that invites us to live like Him, to be holy as He Himself is holy. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 2. Be holy as I Yahweh, your God is holy. The holiness and wholeness ng pagsasamahan that will make us more happy. Because there is peace of mind. There is tranquility of the soul. Kahit ginugulo ka ng mga tamang kapitbahay mo, ginugulo ka ng mga kaaway mo, you're at peace. Tiwasay ka. At peace, tranquil. Bakit ito ang sinusunod mo? Hindi ko anong sinasabi ng kapitbahay mo. Kaya I ask you, what kind of love do you have? Eros? Ako na? Gusto ko? Pilya? Tayo-tayo na? O agape? Tayong lahat kasama ang 